Okay, I had this question from someone on the homework uh, from section uh, in the section on factoring GCF. Um, here we're asked to uh, factor. Well, remember to factor the GCF first. We have to find the GCF. So we look for both the number part and the variable part um, to find the GCF for 21 a to the third minus 7 a to the fifth. So when we look at the numbers 21 and 7. We say, well, 7 can go into both of those, and that's the biggest thing. And then we look at the a cubed and the a to the fifth. It's okay, the a shows up in both. The smallest power is a to the third. Okay, so that's the first step. We found our GCF. Now we want to factor it out. To factor it out, we ask the question, what would I multiply? What would I multiply the 7 a third time? 7 a to the third time by to get that expression. We can do that by asking the question multiplying or asking the question of dividing. So you can say, well, what is 21a to the third divided by that 7a to the third? We say, well, it's 21 divided by 7 is 3, and the a cubes are all completely gone. And we do the same thing with the 7a to the fifth. 7a to the fifth divided by 7a to the third. Well, 7 divided by 7 is 1. You can write that as a 1 if you want. Uh, you don't have to write the 1 down. a to the third and a to the fifth would leave us with an a squared. So normally we would just write a squared. Well, now that we know what happens when I divide each of those things by 7a to the third, I now know what to multiply 7a to the third by to get 21 a to the third. I multiply by 3. And to get 7a to the fifth, I need to multiply by a squared. So now we can write down our answer in factored form. 7a to the third times 3 minus a squared. And now we have our answer. Now we talked about some other factory methods later on. Um, this actually can't be factored any further, so our answer is 7a to the third times 3 minus a squared. Hope this helps you out if you're having a little trouble with factoring out common factors.